church and let's pray father we just thank you once again for this beautiful morning and bless these thoughts today in jesus name we pray amen so this morning we'll read from malachi chapter 3 verse 16 one verse it says then those who feared the lord spoke often one to another it's a great verse to ponder this week and i was thinking about this verse one of the things that satan hates the most is fellowship when two body members come together he hates that because you know what when when two people come together there's a communication of heart to heart about what god is speaking to you and that can change somebody's life yesterday i was hearing a powerful testimony of how somebody found a bible and his and his life was changed and he, and he was in our fellowship and what's beautiful is that's what god can do when we come together and Satan does everything to stop us from fellowship and I like that isn't it like if you look at throughout the Bible that's what Satan wants to do but listen the two words I want to focus in this in this in this verse that we just read the first one is fear the Hebrew word is yare which means it's not just a fear of afraid but a reverential fear because I honor God's word and then and that's, that's the same word used also in Proverbs chapter 31 verse 30. Favor is deceitful, beauty is vain, but the woman that that loves the Lord, she shall be praised or fears the Lord shall be praised. The same word is used. The second word I want to, I want to think about this verse is often, which means every day. Like they are not just like once in a while like fellowshipping, but they like met each other spoke to each other more often that's what the word met every day it's like it's like in acts chapter 2 46 says the early church met daily they had a constant fellowship with the word of god i, I was thinking about in acts chapter 19 apostle paul began a bible college in tyrannus okay this is interesting look, look at the scenario look at the background of it here is the greek philosophers would meet in this building from morning like from 7 o'clock to 11 o'clock because after 11 it becomes very hot in Ephesus it's almost like 128 degrees Fahrenheit and mostly from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. they go take rest or sleep during that time but Paul does something amazing Paul takes that 11 to 4 p.m. and he teaches Bible college because from morning 6 to 11 he is working as a tent maker and from 11 to 4 is teaching the Bible college like I love that in the heat and is teaching the word of God because why they that fear the Lord meet together often he knew the importance of the impact that could he could do in the few years he's on the mission field and that's what is so important like sometimes you wonder what impact I can put in somebody's life but your words your a phone call or your being with them or visiting them makes an amazing uh, like impact in our lives i like what uh, pastor shala said this sunday he said jesus didn't say to 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 the to the believers you know the harvest is plentiful he told the disciples i like that isn't a disciple is somebody who, who takes that extra time to fellowship among the body two things about a disciple is the one he puts the god's word as number one he knew what god's word could do like you see the disciples, all the many disciples were fishermen. They left the fishing boat, not just because they loved Jesus, because so that he, like somebody said that he's God, but they saw something. They saw by his word in Luke chapter 5, Peter caught nothing the whole night. But when Jesus came to the shore and he said something powerful by his word and the fish came into his nets, they saw it. The power of God's word. They also saw when Jesus said, Still the storm by his word, and the storm stilled. And that's the power of the word. That's where these men, they, they may, may not be very much qualified, great, great, uh, like talented, but they moved out because they knew the impact that could have on the word of God. That's where the uh, men, they're always together. Like they feared the Lord and they met often together. And the second thing that motivates us to to go forward like as a disciple is the grace of God like even John even Peter understood like in Luke 5 he said I'm a sinful man but God would take the sinful man and make him the first preacher in Acts chapter 2 
Like that's what grace motivates us to move forward. I like the may the, the woman who put the alabaster oil on Jesus Christ. She knew what de- Jesus did. She knew by the word seven demons came out of her. By his word. And God, she also understood. Like Jesus accepted her offering. Like, like, like everybody are saying she's a sinful woman, but Jesus accepted. I think grace and the word of God. Now, when we are grounded and rooted in the word of God and the grace of God, you know what? It will be men and women who fear the Lord and meet together more often as we know his day is approaching more closer and closer in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25. Amen? Amen.